Today we begin discussing a new book, the book that tells us that men should make coffee and not women. Hebrews. Oh my god. It doesn't say Shebrews, Shauna. It says Hebrews. Okay. <laughs> but I still want you to make my coffee for me in the morning. <laughs> Hi, I'm Pete and this is Shauna. And on a daily basis we invite you in our home to come in Bible study with us. <laughs> Uh, we believe the best way to disciple your family is through reading the Word of God together and simply discussing it as a family. Uh, today, I'm telling you, we're starting a new book, the book of Hebrews. Uh, kind of just going to do an overview today, give you some information about the book, and encourage you to read along with us. That's right. Um, we are excited about this new uh, book. Uh, <clears throat> little backstory. Uh, some people believe that possibly Paul, the Apostle Paul, could have written this. Uh, some believe Barnabas, some believe Apollos. Um, it's not necessarily in Paul's style, um, so there are there's debate against that. But it is a book that was written to the Jewish people. Um, you are going to find a lot of Old Testament references. Uh, you're going to find a lot of uh, understanding in this that, uh, okay, I'm going to tell you what it's been like, what we've been taught our whole life, and then I'm going to tell you how Jesus is better. Right. You know, we don't know who wrote the book, but we do know that the person who did write it had firsthand uh, interaction with the apostles based upon the information used within the books. And we also know that Hebrews does an amazing job, like Shauna said, of tying the Old and the New Testament together. Right. As we go through this, you're going to see it's constantly jumping back and forth, especially the first eight or nine chapters between Old Testament and Jesus. Old Testament and Jesus. Yeah. And what it does is it gives you a comparison of Jesus is better. Yeah. And we, we want you to know right now, we know Jesus is better. Yes, absolutely. Hopefully you understand Jesus is better than better. whatever you may encounter. But if not, Hebrews is a great way to unravel that mystery for you and show you that Jesus surpasses all these things. Uh, it starts by saying that Jesus is better than what, Sean? The angels. He's better than the angels. Uh, uh, the Jewish people have great respect for the angels, knowing that they are God's um, uh, vessels, yeah. right, that he, he uses to uh, bring messages and fight battles. But Jesus is better than the angels. And then it goes on to that Jesus is better than the prophets. We know that the Jewish people uh, listened to the prophets, that they understood and knew that the prophets carried the Holy Spirit and was inspired by the Holy Spirit. And it goes after the main prophet. It goes after Moses and says, yeah. hey, look, mm -hmm. here's how Jesus is better than Moses. That's right. Then it goes into priesthood. You mm -hmm. know, the, the big part of the Old Testament was the Levitical law where these certain people were priests and they took care of God's temple and right. they made the sacrifices and the gifts to the Lord. And, he's, and he goes into this and he starts talking about how Jesus is better than the priesthood. That's right. And it even mentions the mythical priesthood of Melchizedek. Melchizedek. We'll get into that. This mythical Melchizedek, how Jesus is in the line in the same order of him as a priest king. Right, not just a priest, but he's a king who serves his people. That's right. And, and it also says the law. Jesus is greater than the law. That's right. And we know that the Jewish people that they live under the law, the law of Moses, and they live um, trying to hold that to the letter. And um, everything is based upon that. Their goodness, their holiness, everything. Right. You know, it even talks about the covenant, right? The covenant God mm -hmm. made with Abraham. He That's says, right. you know, that this is a better covenant. So if you get once you get into the book of Hebrews, you're going to get a great history lesson. If you've never read through the Old Testament, That's right. you're yeah. going to learn, learn a lot of the stories yeah. of the Old Testament because you're going to read a lot of them in the book of Hebrews. Right. But even with all this information pointed toward the Jew, Jewish audience, got a little tongue tied, a Jewish audience, there's so much in there for all of us, so much good information for all believers that yeah. we're going to grow and uh, grow tremendously by reading this book. That's right. And we will be reminded of what we know that Jesus truly is better, that there is nothing that compares, there is nothing greater, nothing on an equal playing field. Jesus is better. Right, we're gonna, uh, we shared a video earlier by the Bible Project, which is an outline, uh, their amazing ministry that they oh, have gosh, on YouTube. Yes. Uh, they, they are gonna explain it better to you than we ever could. So watch that video, back up, look on our timeline, watch that video by the Bible Project on the book of Hebrews and, and see that outline. 
Uh, going forward, just, just remember that there's four things a disciple of ah, Jesus Christ does every day. That's exalt God, encounter God, edify yourself by reading the Word of God, and engaging this world for Jesus Christ. Anna's squirmy tonight. She is. Say hi. She just woke up from her nap. <laughs> God bless y'all. God bless.